Once upon a time, in the land of Twitter, there was a group of bookworms who gathered by the light of their phones and the screens of their computers, as Deanna's enchanted library told them all that she had created something magical for all other bookworms to enjoy. An idea was born from Happily Ever Afters. Each creator in the group became one with a fairy tale, and thus, the Once Upon a Grim Readathon was born. Hey everyone, it's Kayla and welcome back to my channel. Today I have donned my new favourite dress. It's a fairy tale book dress and I thought it was perfect for today's video. So today I am announcing a readathon that I'm going to be co-hosting with next month in January for the whole of January, which is completely based around Grimm's fairy tales. So this readathon was originally created by Deanna's Enchanted Library at Once Upon a D over on Twitter. She came up with this idea and I think it is absolutely fantastic. There are four teams. Each of these teams are fairy tales from original Grimm's fairy tales. And there are four of us who have joined up together to, to host and to captain each of these four teams. So if you want to participate, there is a sign-up sheet which you can fill out on the Twitter page, which I will link down below. I will also link each of the creators' Twitter pages as well, because some of them have different platforms which they will be talking about the readathon. So whether it's a blog or YouTube or Instagram. So if you click on the sign up link, it will take you to where you need to go to fill out all your info and what team you want to be a part of. So like I said, there will be four different teams. The first team is Thumbelina and that is by our amazing host and creator, Deanna at Deanna's Enchanted Library, once upon a D. So she will be doing Thumbelina. I will be doing Cinderella, Lucy at Bookworm Blogger will be doing Rapunzel, and William at Book Enthusiast will be doing Hansel and Gretel. So this is going to also be me sharing my TBR as well, so it's going to be a TBR cross announcement video. But if you want to participate in the Cinderella team, this will be all the prompts that you need to do so. I will also insert a little picture of the prompts as well somewhere here. But let's just get into it. So the first prompt is to read a book with one parent or neither. So a book that contains one singular parent or none at all. So for this one, I will be going with Stepsister by Jennifer Donnelly. I've had this on my shelf for a bit and I don't know too much about it, except that it follows Cinderella's stepsister and her search for finding love, I believe. Um, and it actually is very close to the Grimm's fairy tale story because in the fairy tale, this particular one, because, okay, Cinderella is done by a couple of different people, but Grimm's fairy tale is the more gruesome one. So it's the one without the fairy godmother and the magic pumpkin. It ha It's the one with the sisters who have to like uh, cut off their toes or like sand off their heel or cut off their heel or something like that in order to fit the, the glass slipper. And it has the birds with the picking of the lentils out of the ashes and, and that 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 part of um, the Cinderella story. So this one follows a stepsister from that story because she had the bloody feet from trying on the glass slipper. So it says, this is stepsister Isabel's story. Isabel is brave and strong-willed, but not beautiful. And she has bloody feet from trying to fit into the glass slipper. But now Isabel has a chance to alter her destiny and prove what ugly stepsisters have always known. It takes more than heartache to break a girl. That's literally all it says. I think it sounds fantastic because we don't really get to see a side of the stepsisters. So I am super keen to give this one a go. The second prompt is to read a book with an animal on the cover. For this one, I'm going with a very, very anticipated read and that is Holopox by Jennifer Townsend. I am super excited to read this. This is the third book in the Trials of Morrigan Crow series, which I believe is gonna have quite a few books in it. So I originally thought it was gonna be a trilogy, but this is just the third book. There's going to be plenty more. All I know about this one is there is like a virus or something that infects all the magical animals in this world. So I'm intrigued because I absolutely love this series. I think it is fantastic. And if you haven't read it, it is the perfect middle grade series to get you started on the track of middle grade if you would like to read more middle grade. 
I would go into depth with what this book is about, but I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it quite often in my previous videos. So I'll link you one of the videos where I read Nevermore, which is the first book, and then you can see my thoughts and, and everything on the first book. The third prompt is to read a classic or a book that was published before you were born. So I was born in 1993, so pretty much anything that is published before 93 or just a regular classic. So I have many classics, but this is one that I really need to read. I keep putting it on my TBR and I never get around to it. I am just hopeless like that but I'm hoping I can start off the year with this classic so I plan on trying to read 1984 by George Orwell I put this on my TBR in June because I wanted to read it because me and George Orwell share the same birthday which is the 25th of June and it's just been a book that I just really want to read and I know there are so many varying opinions about this I know there are people who hate it and people who love it but there's not really like an in-between but it's one that I really want to read and, and and I've been wanting to get around to it for a long time so I'm hoping this readathon will make me read it. <laughs> Number four is to read a book with one word title so for this one I'm going with Unbirthday, A Twisted Tale by Liz Braswell. I was given this from Scholastic Publishing to read and review. So I feel like I should probably get started on the books that I have set aside that were from them. This one is A Twisted Tale on Alice in Wonderland, which I am super excited for because I love Alice in Wonderland. So it says... Uh, what if Wonderland was in peril and Alice was very late? 18 year old Alice is very different to the other ladies in Kexford. She enjoys spending afternoons with her trusty camera, ignoring pressure from her sister to become a respectable member of society. But when the familiar faces of the Queen of Hearts, the Mad Hatter and the Caterpillar begin appearing in her photographs, Alice finds herself returning to the place of nonsense from her childhood to stop the Queen's tyrannical rule before the end of time. Very much looking forward to this. I'm also a little bit unsure because the last Twisted Tale I read was As Old As Time and that bugged the crap out of me. So hopefully this one will be better. I don't know. We'll see. But it's by the same author who did As Old As Time. So I guess we will see if I actually enjoy this one. But looking forward to giving it a go. So the fifth prompt is to read the group book, a retelling or a book featuring royalty. So... You can read the group book that we have, or if you don't feel like reading that one, you can read a retelling of Cinderella or a book that features royalty. So the group book is also my number one prompt, which is Stepsister by Jennifer Donnelly. Like I said, you don't have to read this one. You can read a Cinderella retelling or a book with royalty. But if you want to read this one, this is the group book. And the last prompt is a bonus prompt, which you don't actually have to do if you don't want to but you can as a bonus. So this one is to read a book by an indie author. So if you don't know what an indie author is exactly, it's just an author who doesn't go through a tra traditional publishing company to publish their books. So generally it's authors that self-publish. So for this one, I'm going with The Innocent by Alicia King. I read the first two books pretty much at the beginning towards the middle of 2020 and I love this series I think it's awesome I have been buddy reading it with a group over on Instagram and she's only just come out with this one very recently and I cannot wait to read it I love these characters they are all fantastic the world building is amazing and she's just a good writer like and a good person she's just a lovely person but she's a great writer and it's definitely one that I really want to read because then I can finish another series and ignore all the other series that I have to finish but let's just focus on one that I can finish well there you go those are the prompts and my TBR for the once upon a grim readathon like I said I will leave all the links down below if you want to go and check out what the readathon is all about and the links to sign up and everything and remember sign up for the amazing team which is Cinderella I look forward to participating in this readathon with everyone and I look forward to seeing how many of you actually want to sign up I will hopefully be trying to vlog sometimes I don't know we'll see how I go but I'm very excited for this readathon I cannot wait I love fairy tales I think it's going to be amazing but yeah perfect way to start 2021 <laughs> so as usual don't forget to like comment subscribe thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video bye